And you're welcome. And today for Arch Display, because it's a Archie Thursday, we have a very, very beautiful lady here. This morning we have Olola De Adewusi. Uh, she's a fine artist that uses mixed media in the creation of masterpieces. And she's the CEO of Olola De African Arts Limited. It's already a big name, Abi, I know. Uh, a brand offering creative and also pleasing works of art. She started at the very young age of five. She was shortlisted as one of the, uh, the, the 100 most influential youth in all your state for the year 2021. And in 2023, Olala Day's company was awarded as one of the Oyo 100 Humanity Awards. You are welcome, Olala Day. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very fine. I must ask this question. You don't strike me as an artist. Right? You strike me as a corporate something, something a jig. I don't know. Is there a corporate... Um, what do you call it, experience in your life? Oh, definitely. Aha. I, I am a professional saleswoman. I've worked with several multinational companies in the past. Uh -huh. And um, I would say, if not sales, then what? It's only sales. Wow. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah. And you still find time for such elaborate art forms. Where? How? When? Uh, in between making money and then art? So art has always been my thing, mm. right? Um, I started art when I was barely five years old. Mm. I was creating pieces, sculptural pieces from clay. Mm. And um, since that time till now, I find a way to do art. Mm. I studied physics in my first degree. Yeah, engineering wow. physics from Obafi Miawolo University. No. And while in school, while we're talking about that bond or this bond, or you're talking about um, a type of physics, I'm just catching, you know, because you've got to draw. It's uh -huh. engineering, yeah. right? And I would draw, I would sketch things on my pad. and. Uh, you did. I do that. Wow. From science to sales, and then there's art in the yeah. mix and all of that. You're multifaceted. Let me put I it am. so. <laughs> and that's very interesting. Multimedia art, however, it's not just pen to paper or paint to canvas. It takes a lot more. Yeah. There's different little things that you could put together that people don't even consider art. But once you put it together, it becomes a body of its own. Um, how would you define your multimedia art? Uh, and to whom uh, is, does it appeal to? Okay, so uh, I, I make use of several mediums. Isn't that why it's called multimedia art? Yeah, so I use um, leather works, I use sand, I use dust, I use um, scrap materials, and I put everything together to make my art. Mm. And the interesting thing about most of these um, uh, mediums I use is that they can last as long as the fabric, as long as the art, oh. right? And um, a lot of persons love works that are protruding, mm. works with textures. Mosaic. Exactly. So when they touch my works and uh, they feel it, they start asking, mm. what did you use to make it? Mm. Uh, sometimes it's, it's not just about the visuals, it's about the feel. Yes, the feel, the feel. Okay. Sometimes uh, I had my solo art exhibition in the United Kingdom, mm. sometimes last year. And some lecturers from the Croydon School of Arts came. You know, it was an aha moment for me because they knelt down, bent down a bit. I started touching my works and they were asking, what did you use to make it? Wow. You know, it gave me a lot of excitement. in one core I moment. I tell you, to the point that they even asked if I could take a course oh. for the next, for the next year. Did you agree? Yeah, of course. Of course she did. She's no <laughs> she <jack> Definitely. <laughs> so, Lola, let's talk about your art now. Okay. Let's talk about this one right by your side, which yeah. caught my eye when they brought it into the studio. Yes, First of all, I thought... It might be themed something, the eye of something, something, something. I don't know. Can we take a look at this art uh, just by Lola Day here inside of the studio? Um, but you gave me the theme, and what's it called? The essence of life. I knew it had to be something very, you know, you know, like that. Yeah. The essence of life. What is it made from, and why is it about the essence of life? Okay, like I told you, uh, I study physics, and um, you would know that the very unit of life, the atom. every unit of an element is an atom. Mm -hmm. And what makes up an atom? Uh, you have neutrons. the proton, the neutron, the electrons. Yeah. Yeah, they all come together. The house. Thank you very they much. all come together to make what we know as the atom. Uh -huh. And there's barely anything that is not made from an atom, mm. right? Life itself is, is an atom, right? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the embryo is an atom, right? Mm. So this is a combination of all this, mm. and I titled it The Very Essence of Life. Very interesting. I can see some drums, the hearts, and 
abstract uh, encryptions in there. But what's it made out of? What's, what's all that the, the, the round uh, uh, figure? OK, it's so uh, le let me start with the, the drones. Mm -hmm. a, they are called um, African motifs. Mm -hmm. yeah, the motive. several, yes, yeah. the motifs, yeah. So they are, they, they, they are what defines us as African artists, mm -hmm. this motif that is unique to us, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I'm an African lady, so everything I do has to have that touch Definitely. of Africa in it. So what, what's the art made from? Uh, mixed media, I have the glue. There's a lot of glue in it. Okay. There's um, a lot of polyfillers okay. in it. There's the acrylic paint, because I work a lot with um, acrylic paint, acrylic mm -hmm. on canvas. Mm -hmm. the, the, the body the, itself, the background is made, from, the background is made from um, uh, canvas. Yeah, I painted on canvas. This is not woodwork, because mm -hmm. I, I do a lot of wo okay. woodwork too. Okay. Uh, okay. So I've got the black color representing power. I've got um, the gold. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot the, going on in oh, there. Oh, yes, a lot. It's, it's a beautiful. Lot, yes. Quickly, let's move on to what we have right next to me here, which has got the, the gourd. And the palm tree, yes, very, very well represented into that palm tree. I can see how you worked it in. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Um, talk to us about these, please. Uh, for first, uh, this is, uh, what's it themed? Liquid gold. Liquid gold, that's yes. the, the one with the tree, yeah? Yes, liquid, liquid gold. gold. Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, it's, it's a little obvious, right, that yeah. is a palm wine tapa is going to get something. What is that thing? That thing is the liquid that's the palm wine mm. and um i teamed it liquid gold because it can be exchanged for money oh yeah right? i get you now but not just that it gives excitement yeah you know when you An sit elixir down and of you, life you know right <laughs> when you see that you, you get a good cup of chilled palm wine nice it leaves you it leaves you you're making me so thirsty <laughs> and all the way at the other side we've got the drums um it's also raised media as well it's mosaic so you can actually feel and touch yes that. you, I can, you see can that. yes definitely unfortunately if you're at home you can't you can't absolutely feel it but right here it it me it meets you it meets the eye let's yes, put it so it does. absolutely beautiful work pieces and i absolutely love them and um i i'm wondering what the cost will be real quick before we end what what for your atom of life, sorry, essence of life, what would something like that cost? So it depends on who is buying. If I were to charge you right now, I would say, uh, Maxi, give me, say, 500,000 for this. Is this worth if it? I find someone else right now, mm -hmm. I could charge a million, I could charge two. It's all about, yeah, I, I understand. And art. I hope you'll be taking this home. Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ade, these are beautiful pieces, and you're such a beautiful personality. Thank you, Thank very, you very much, much for gracing our studio Thank this morning so with much. your presence. And we hope to see more of your art, very sure. intellectual art, by the way. Sure. Say. We have to move on now inside the kitchen to what's happening there. Breakfast for two, like Mike said before, is it for one? Mike, how far? How's that going? Um, uh, I don't forget that Spanish this thing. Maybe she'll remind me or something, <laughs> right? But um, what happened is that uh, we, um, the pasta, we did that for 10, 12 minutes. How long? 12 minutes. 12 minutes, right? Okay. But now we had to move a pan. Uh, what exactly are we doing now? Because this is another onion um, stir fry that we're putting together, right? Yes. Okay. So, so this is so the major part. This is the major part, eh? Yes. All right. Where you have okay. your spag in it. So. What's that? This is um, ginger and garlic paste. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. wonderful. For aromatics, basically. Mm. All yeah. right. Okay. Well, that was the previous one we had before, yeah, where we, because the last time we saw us, we had to pour the uh, pepper tomato and tomato paste, paste yeah. into that particular one, okay? Yeah, so that's All for right. the chicken. That's for the chicken, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it without the sauce chicken? Oh, definitely, definitely. So if you're just joining us, uh, it's uh, Chef Rachel's spaghetti stir fry. <laughs> She's quite modest about, and we have quite a plethora of ingredients, uh, which you can see some of them across here. Uh, and also you can see across your screen there, quite a number of them. You can take a screenshot if you want. And we're putting this together. So, uh, yeah, the scotch bonnet goes in first. That's yes. scotch bonnet, right? Yes, it okay. is. All right, this is going to be quite a colorful mix when we are done. Okay, so while this is going on, can the chicken go in there? Of course, sure. Okay, it can, right? Okay, so the chicken goes into uh, uh, pre, you know, the, what we had already done before now, which is the tomato paste, which we put in there. So, okay, quite good. Are we doing this for flavor also? This? <clears throat> this is to actually give your chicken a taste. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it won't be so dry in your mouth while oh. eating. Yeah. Okay. I know some people so have that, that moist. Where 
those type, those um, chickens that, that are glazed with honey, at what point do you put the honey in it? Oh, I'm not doing is honey it, glazed chicken. I know, I know you're not, but <laughs> do they, do, is it at this point they normally do it? Yes, or? at this point. At the at end? Point. No, at this point at this as point, well. At this point, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Just wanted to... <laughs> just for the side. Okay, so while it's I... obvious you cook as well. Huh? <laughs> for you to be talking about glaze. <laughs> I know English. I don't know cooking. <laughs> no, there. No. Uh, okay, so um, our chicken breast will go in there first. Was anything done to this? Was it marinated or something? Okay, so it was sauced. It was sauced, eh? Yes. Okay. And fried the bits. Okay. Just a slight fry. Just a slight fry, eh? yeah. All right. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, let that stay fry and put together. Yep. Okay. That's looking quite nice. Of course, these ones are definitely the ones that are going last, right? Yes. Because you need them as fresh and as close as possible. And they are the part I don't like so much. <laughs> and Chef Rachel almost graciously said she wants to take it out. Yeah. And I said no. It's not just about me, you know. But that's uh, shrimps there, which is going in with. The, uh, they look, they look, they now look alike that you can't differentiate them now. True that. <laughs> they have all gone together. So we're almost done, but we'll maybe uh, get to show you a little bit of how this is going a little bit later on. So yeah, it's our spaghetti stir fry by Chef Rachel, and we are almost done. I think the final thing that's just left here is our uh, sausage. It, uh, sausage. Ah, uh, good, good. So yeah, that's most of everything got inside. Finally, it'll be the vegetables. We'll get to you to see how it comes together as a process but it's time to take a time out now it's top of the hour we'll be back on the flip side 